Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Equestriate War, in which we're playing as the Kingdom of Wingbody. If you'd like to read about the Kingdom in the year 1007, please go right ahead, and I will go ahead and show you the bottom part of the, the text, the lore. But, let us begin with a focus, in which we're going to go meet with Bicolini, because I never played as the Kingdom of Wingbody before, and uh, because of that, I left this on historical, but... Bicolini's columns of black wings are nearly at the gates of Carthen, and it seems impossible to stop them without violent escalation. The Prime Minister is panicked and argued for martial law to restore order, but the King is hesitating. Instead of causing a clash in the capital, he can invite the, the dude leader to the palace and work out a deal to ensure stability. What is that F word right there? I thought we were... Su there were supremacists. Not dudes. Not dudes like with that F word. Cool. We look very small. Then again, I guess these, we will take out other people, but we are led by Gallo of Antriglio. For now, anti-F-word pacifist. Coldstream Summit, very nice, very nice. We have Garibald Talunel III, Soldier King. Very cool, I like the daily political power and stability. We also have a political deadlock. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that. Economic crisis is also not very good. And then we have stilted education. Not very good either. We have an outdated army, which... Ooh, that attack, I don't like that a lot. And power for mafia. You can't really be Italian without a mafia, can you? Cool, so basically we're Italy. Um, this seems like it's like Italy, was it 1920s Italy, where we're led by someone, but then the dude, Bicolini, will come and like use their power and stuff, but it becomes Prime Minister. Look how handsome he is, with that eagle and that hat. The meeting. When Giulio Bicolini declared that his black wings would march on Carthen unless he were installed as Prime Minister, he was in effect making a calculated gamble. Assuming that the relationship between the King and Prime Minister Ventriglio's government was deteriorating, and by adding a little pressure to the mix, he could sever it completely. This proved to be an astute observation. The King's unwillingness to declare martial law has led to the resignation of Prime Minister Ventriglio and the collapse of the PLW's government. The King was unwilling to work with the Communists. The PLW was out of power for, for, for this foreseeable future. This state of affairs left Piccolini and his PNF as a last Griffin standing. A triumphant Bicolini entered the royal palace this morning, invited by the king to, a new, to form a new government. However, the participants in the march looked somewhat embarrassed to have their thunder stolen from them. While nothing is set in stone yet, it seems unlikely that anything will derail Bicolini's ascent to power at the last moment. Let's hope this goes smoothly and the emperor is now dead. Uh, wing body and Stalingrad Treaty. Ooh. Uh, le legitimize the Black Wings. I kind of like that. And Bicolini's education reforms. I like that too, but let's go legitimize the Black Wings. Bicolini's paramilitary organization has been key to his political ambitions, and the loyalty to him, above all other things, is too valuable for the Duce to let go of. By signing their special status into law, the Duce will have his loyal warriors at his beck and call no matter what happens. Nice. What happens if you go down? Um, rally the anti dudes right there. We could, I mean, uh, what happens if you had declared the martial law? Huh. That'd be kind of cool. Wisdom politicians, one more try. And then the royal intervention. Okay. Viva il re. But, crisis in the PLW. With Gallo Ventriglio's failure to prevent Bicolini's march on Carthen and his dismissal as prime minister, the Partito Liberale Wingbardo have voted to replace him with their old leader, Giovanni Giolitti. He has been a predominant and respected voice in wing body and politics and has been prime minister five times in the past, both under King Garbalta Nuel III and his father, King Gumberto. Of course, Gumberto. Uh, Giolitti has approached Bicolini for talks of reforming a coalition government, offering the full support of the POW. This might just be a move to keep some semblance of power for the POW, but regardless of having their support will help us greatly in pushing through our reforms in a timely manner. We accept the support. We don't need no help from these so-called liberals. Ah, we'll, leave it. we'll accept the support, why not? And we have big leading's march, very nice. And La Camera di Deputati. Oh, the Chamber of Deputies. It's the lower house of the Wing Bardian Parliament. 535 seats, wow. It's made up of representatives elected from constituencies across the Wing Body and from the government from which the government is formed. Okay. And the current Prime Minister is us, and we only have 174 seats. Oh, lobby effort. We definitely need some more support here. But Giovanni Giolitti, the leader of the PLW, has been talked with Giovanni Antonio Golon and the leadership of the radical Partito Democratico Social Wingbardo over their inclusion into our governing coalition. It seems that through his political respect, he has won over the PDSW's leadership, and they are now fully ready to support Piccolini and the PNF. Also, give us the edge in the Chamber of Deputies and help ensure that we can push through the laws we need to secure fascism in Wingbardi. Those radicals will get more change than they bargain for. We can borrow from those guys, we don't need to. Tackle the Mafia. Ooh, we get more stability. 
the power of the mafia gang generation will be weakened. I kind of like that. Um, before we go too far, though, let's go and double check this. Let's let time go on, first of all. But let's see. We're in civilian economy. Who do we have here? Socialist novelist. Social reformer. Oh, products of terror. Daily supremacy support. I kind of like that. Bathroom backstabber. It's okay. Smooth talking. War industrial. That's very nice. Armaments. Quartermaster. Captain of industry. I always kind of like. Royalist bulldog. Oh, that's not too bad. Economic reformer, but. Ooh. Monarchist media mogul. Not bad. And so no one that gives us extra political power gain. Because currently we get 0.69. That is. Oh, that's 270. That hurts a lot. Oh, my goodness. Uh, outdated industrial sector, huh? 215. Um, actually, what are we doing for everyone? I think else. Ah, just go in. Oh, I don't want to do it. That's so long. That's so long. Ah, screw it. Do it, do it anyways. <laughs> it pained me so much. All right, so bribe conservative deputies. Bribe. Oh, weekly stability goes down. Ooh. Consumer goods factories. I don't mind hurting that. I don't want to lose political power, so I don't mind bribe conservative deputies. That's fine. And tackle the mafia. We don't want the mafia to be too strong here. No, thank you. But after this, we should go ahead and do the Garcebo law. We need more support. Oh, oh, we need less than 30% support for those people. Oh, boy. Oh, reignite the industrial sector. That'd be kind of nice. And what do we have? Regia, Regia Marina. Reform the Carthan Protocols. Regia Aeronautica. And Regia Esercito. Nice. Let's do some education reforms. That'd probably be good. Ooh, maybe the Red Army, but this one. If we can borrow to prosper, she must ensure that her children are given a good education, both physically and mentally. Raising the school leaving age, introducing new textbooks, reinforcing the status of the teachers, as well as making sure they are loyal to the nation, that's most important. And giving them plenty of physical exercise will help them all to strengthen our children. More supremacy support? We love it. The Black Wings. We love the Black Wings. And eventually, we may be a minority in the government now, but we will rise up and do quite well, hopefully, for ourselves. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's have a good time. And also, I forgot about my ships, too. What do we have here? Oh, some subbies. There you go. Oh, there you go. You know what? Just combine. Uh, don't combine, you guys. Just cut you guys down in a hat. There you go. I always like making my sub task forces at the beginning very small. Just because, at least in my mind, I'm not sure this actually works or not. But it's harder to spot a single sub than, like, 47 subs in any given task force area. There you go. Destroyers. Uh, light cruisers. That's fine. Um, I actually might split you guys down in half, then, maybe? There you go. Do that. I'll split you guys down in half as well, then. So now spread the wealth, share the wealth, and go ahead and train. And then go ahead and train as well. Do we have a sea wolf? No, we don't. That's kind of disappointing, huh? Alright, that's alright. We can still use Galbardo here, who will probably be more than fine. Basic machine tools, very good. 216, uh, I like this first industry because I like it. Oh, who do we have here? So, okay, so which ones do we need to help lower and do this one? The PCW and the PPW. PCW. PCW. So these two. So the communists. Oh, they're getting more support, huh? As well as the harmony support. So that's going down already. PCW needs how much? PCW needs 25, less than 25% support. I mean, if we just incre increase our size, then that's just good enough for us, then. Weekly, I'm not going to do that one. Uh, 30. I don't want to hurt. Uh, uh, just do that one. Because if we get more support, that means there's less support for other people, then, eventually. And that's enchanted tools. Good. Got more construction speed, factory output. I kind of want to do that already. But I'll leave this up to you guys. For this campaign, should we focus on knights more and do quick hitters? Or should we do messenger enchantments? Please let me know in the comments below. So then, the start of the next episode, we will go ahead and put them in and start using them more effectively. Because I'm not really using knights super, super, not a whole ton. I'll put it like that. Words are hard, you know. But I'm not really using them a whole ton before, so. I would like your opinion, and I would, you know, maybe I'd like to use them a little bit more. Uh, just, just delete them all. Uh, let's go into this. Uh, fighters, nice. Oh, uh, we could use bombers. I want, to, I want cast. I want, I want to use a lot of cast. I love cast. And then we'll go with, ooh, make the train join on time. Ooh, economic crisis is recovering economy. Unemployment is a scourge, not just economically, but morally as well. Conscripting every unemployed griff into a series of infrastructure projects will not only ensure that they have a stable income, but also teach them skills useful for upcoming struggles. It also help recover our nation from the all-encompassing or all-consuming economic crisis and make it a strong once again. Ooh, daily... Ooh, oh, wait, daily communist support. Uh, ooh, I, I don't mind that. But daily supremacy support. Oh, no. Um, hmm. How much daily support do we get, actually? Well, you do really get that much already. You know what? Screw it. Just go with that one. That's fine. I, I want to get the better construction speed and stuff like that already. So, that's fine for now. Fine, 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 fine. T tackle the Mafia. Rising Mafia influence. Ooh. Ooh, we get better consumer goods and stability. Nice. So, we got to get 
Oh, we're 238. That's not too bad then, actually. I think I want to save my PP up, and we'll try to get a daily supremacist person. Because taking this too early is probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Make the trains run on time. Productivism. Mm. I touch your daily support, though. So I'm not going to hit that again, so I guess we're going to get the industrial sector, then. Wingbar's industry was once the envy of all Grafonia, but it has stagnated for years, falling into disarray. We must reignite this nation's industrial spark to ensure that once again Wing Bari comes out on top. A new daring do book. Gotta check it out. Got to check it out. Nice. That's getting better and better and better. The PPW still has way too much support, but they're slowly going down, which is nice. Appeal to the lobby. Rising influence tackle the mafia. Oh, oh, how strong is the mafia now? Oh, they we have a weak mafia. That's good. Sitting Grover Gori. Control local governments. I'd like to do more of this. The total government seats is 203, which is not bad, but still. I want more daily supremacy support. I think that will be very nice for us. But after this one... <clears throat> oh, we could try that one. We could try that agreement, maybe. What else is down here? Connect Falcor. Carthen Wohart Larway. Oh. Great. That. That's not bad. More fuel. I like the fuel. Ooh. Universities. Um. Well, that's not... I'll do this one first. Stalingrad is a curious entity which split from Equestria. Though they follow the inferior communist ideology, necessity makes for strange bad bedfellows. Both the countries eye Equestria with suspicion, so our interests may align. Maybe they would be open to diplomatic overtures? Maybe. Just maybe. Anything else? We have nine political actions, I guess, technically, yeah. We could get more stability that way, but eh, I want to get more daily supremacy support first. Um, I like that. I like the extra research slot. Can we get another research slot on this side, though? Well, you get some factories, but you get factories and infrastructure here, too. Um, is there really a... This seems just better overall, but then again, you get both, either one. doesn't really matter which one, because you can get this for each one. So, ooh. Connecting file core. Um, honestly, it's, actually, this one has... Well, you can get both of these, can't you? Yeah, you can get both of these, so you might as well just go that way, right? Falcor is nice. If you like to hear about that one, please go right ahead. The Carthen Robert Railway, though. Carthen and Robert are the two largest ports in Wingbardi, accounting for most of the SIVA and imports and exports, however. But uh, the railroad connecting these two economic powerhouses is outdated. By modernizing this railway and adding a connection to Talcara, all major coastal hubs will be properly serviced. Because you can still get this one by doing this one anyway, so. Stalingrad agrees. Look at that. Wonderful news. As a representative returned from Stalingrad, having signed a treaty formalizing the amity between our two great nations, we now officially recognize the Stalingradian government and have established a mutually beneficial economic relationship. This new accord will no doubt prove vital to ensuring our shared security in an increasingly dangerous world. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And moderate uh, influence, so be it. Oh, look at all that. Kinda crazy, man. Not, not gonna lie. Kinda crazy. So now we need less than 30% for the PPW. Blue Moon Festival? Oh, if you want to read about this, I think this happens every year, right? So you can go ahead and read it if you like to. A toast to family nudity. Nice. Alright. Uh, let's see. I mean, we're still getting more daily supremacy support anyways. It's gonna take a little longer, but that's okay. Ooh, Disperse Industry. Nice. Happy December, everyone. It's almost time. Let's just go to Disperse Industry and get some of that. Nice. Radio, very good. And after a while, get some more tanks, and then we're going to go and grab some more... Oh, we even got construction speed yet. Oh, my goodness. But we do have coffee here, so we're somewhat happy. Somewhat happy. Somewhat. Are these our allies? Oh, huh. Dutchy, huh? Uh, what do we have out of date? Early tanks? Man, we don't have a lot of dockers, do we? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God, we're making early... Oh, oh no, that's not good. Um, ooh, Tackle the Mafia. We probably want to do that. But is it worth actually getting more daily? Hmm. I kind of go straight down here, because we're going to get this anyways. So after this, we actually might be able to do this one soon, maybe? Tashuenko? Ah, uh, university, university of Fethara. The University of Fethara is the oldest education institution in South Grafonia. With some extra funding, we can open up its doors to more wing bardians to ensure that our nation continues to stay ahead in the education leagues. Very nice. Ah, supremacy. We love supremacy here. Oh. Divisions required for sending volunteer force. Justify war goal time and at war with a major. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh, these guys exploded. So, historically, this is supposed to happen, huh? So, Vinovia and the Pride are supposed to rebel. Seems kind of difficult, not gonna lie. Attack all the Mafia, we probably want to do that as well. But, you know, I said that I also want to get more daily supremacy support. Um, stability, let's see. Has a majority of seats? Oh, so we didn't get, keep getting a majority of seats. 
Uh, fascism only. Eventually, um, we don't really have to. The new laws pass, and during the next election, the party of the majority of the votes will gain a two-thirds majority in the chamber of deputies. A vote will happen on the law. We have over 267, so we need 268 deputies supporting the government. The government vote will fail. If the vote passes, an election will be held a month after the focus is complete. If it wins the election, we'll have a safe majority in chamber Congress. Okay. We lose weekly stability. Oh, boy. Political deadlock. That's not bad. So we need to get 268 deputies. That's our goal. Next. Nice. <clears throat> Screw it. Oh, I just want to go kind of here. But I also want some army XP as well. Um, what do we do? Hmm. We're going to get both eventually anyways. Oh, what do we have over here? Oh. Eh, that stuff is okay. Yeah, getting more data supremacy support seems okay. Let's just go and grab this one. They can start making things faster, faster, faster. Like in Red World. Red World? No. Red Flood. Red Flood. So after that, now we're going to spend a lot of our political power on tackling the Mafia more, but really getting more support in the chamber of the Congress? Something like that? Something like that. Like I said, a law. But we'll do that one once we can pass some more stuff. First, let's go do and get some more civvies. Expand the southern industries. The coastal south with Robert, Carthen, and Talcata has been long the industrial heart of the nation, and there's no reason for that to change. The economy will soar on top of the mighty wing of the big three once more. But if we make a hefty investment in the right companies. <sighs> a full three search slot, finally. We are slightly more modern. Slightly. Nice. Oh, let's go do this too. Um, bribe conservatives. Bring 10 to 20. So, it's hard to tell which one's conservative, is it? There's a lot of different people. What is G's? Oh, is it our group? Uh, probably, yes, probably our group. Uh, Prelight for support? 2030? We'll grab that one. Why not? And Disperse Industries is very, very good. 1008. And what next? 1009. Anything here yet? Eh, I'll grab that one. Because we can always use that one. After construction one, uh, Prelate support. The Prelate of Carthen and Winged Body was a very important griffin. Being the spiritual leader to thousands of Winged Bodians, his word and opinion was valued by many from the common griff on his everyday issues to politicians on gaining the support of the religious. And that latter reason was exactly why Bicolini was approaching to meet him today in hopes of gaining that critical support that could sway many of both the people and the parliament. Unfortunately, Bicolini would not be able to use many of his normal tactics here. The prelate <clears throat> was a faithful and holy griffin, and trying to intimidate or bribe him would only end in disaster. Some said that the gods gave him the ability to see through lives as well, so the only thing he could do was speak with him, be honest about his intentions, and hope that they would give him their blessing. It seems that the gods were on our side today, though, as the prelate blessed Bicolini inside the holy temple in Carthen. And later that day, they made a public statement, lending his support to her cause. It immediately had the effect we intended. As Griffins across all layers of society reconsider their stance on the PNF, giving us much needed votes. A toast to a new friendship. Ah, we love the PNF. But mostly the prelate. But somewhat the, the uh, prelate. Somewhat. Somewhat. Cool. Equestria Annex is a Buffalo Chiefdom. Very good. Oh, we're so close. So close. Um, 10 to 20, 10 to 20. Yeah, it's all 10 to 20. I don't want to lose daily political power or, or weekly stability. That's just not good. Just do that one. And then we should be able to do the Garcia of Law. But division and the PPW. <clears throat> it appears that gaining the support of the prelate was a greater success than we first thought. The PPW has long been a thorn in her side, however, with the prelate's backing, we've won over a substantial portion of their voter base to support us. This has caused a crisis within the PPW, with many deputies now speaking out against the party's hardline anti fascist policy. It's reported that Don Luigi Guterzo was severely distressed by the prelate's support for Bicolini, and after a private meeting with the prelate, he resigned as head of the PPW. His successor is, is right claw griffin Giovanni de Gaspiwingi. Well, the Gaswingi opposes us as just as much as Don Guterzo. He is now leading a party that is much, very much divided, and will not pose a significant united threat against us, just as planned. Nice. Coup and Arantiga. News has reached us from the coup that recently struck the small barony of Arantiga, in what is dubbed the Ides of March, the by the local population. A prominent general by this name of Dorothos Featherin has seized control of the state and is already in the process of expelling foreign influences as he promises to return to Arantiga's ancient roots. One of his first decisions was leaving our formal alliance pact. Although Arantigan history is certainly impressive, yet filled with bloodshed, the joint military staffs of the pact believe there's no real threat coming from such a minor nation after all. What are the chances of a new Arantigos rising up, up to conquer the continent? We'll keep an eye on them. The Garcia Bilal, though. <clears throat> Bicolini has achieved several of his goals, but the Parliament keeps stymieing his efforts. To counter this, he has motioned for a parliamentary reform, one that helped tip the balance of scales primarily in the PNF's favor. It's a real shame for the honorable opposition to uh, po opposition politicians that they will be powerless to stop it once the king gives his approval. And just to be sure, we have 280. Nice. 
The Gacerbo Law, we love it. Initially created by the PNF economist named Giacomo Gacerbo. Uh, the Gacerbo Law, as it is named after him, is a proposal for the parliamentary reform, one specifically aimed at the proportions gained from voting in deputies. The hope is that this will cement the fascist power in the parliament and allow Bicolini to continue his measures unabated. In short, the law would state whatever party got the largest share of votes, provided that they had at least 25% of them, was guaranteed to get at least two-thirds of the seats in the parliament. The remaining third would be shared among the other parties proportionally. Should this law be passed, it would also start early elections to allow a reshuffle of the parliament. With PNF's popularity higher than any other parties at the moment, our chances of winning and securing the parliament should, be the, should the law pass are all but secured. The challenge, however, will be to get the law through in the first place, for if our coalition supporting government isn't large enough to get it through, then it will surely have no chance of succeeding. Let's hope it goes through without a hitch, and generals leave for country Francistria. <clears throat> Oh no. Our friends and country of France history have expressed a desire to further expand our already ex expansive military cooperation. Their army is outdated and is in need of assistance. Therefore, Giulio Piccolini has sent generals Garlo, Garlo Geloso, and Gabaldo Goldu to the country of Fancistria, or County Fancistria, along with other lower ranking of officers and representatives of arms companies. All of this should hopefully prove to be beneficial to our northern friends. Oh, they're not leaving us for fun, they're leaving us because they can. Of course, it's not like Fancistrians themselves have nothing to teach us. This cooperation will benefit us as well, giving us deeper insights into the different doctrines used by our ally. Together, we are stronger. And we didn't lose anybody yet. Good. But you know what's not good? Finishing coffee. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, why are they at war? Why are you... What? Franciscan war on the... Oh, Tarin. Oh, okay. Oh, is that supposed to happen? Huh. Okay, well, let's just radio them. And after this, let's tackle the Mafia, I suppose. We still have 280, so that's pretty good. Orions are getting desperate. Good. And we have a majority of seats in the Chamber of Deputies. We'll probably get that once we're done. So, political power would be nice. Get some more stability. Stability is very good. Local authorities have been allowed to run rapid for far too long. How can this nation be united when every griff is marching in different directions? It's time to reorganize local democracy into a strongly hierarchical system where the national government controls the direction of policy making and, more importantly, the use of law enforcement. Our rising mafia influence is fine. We, there's nothing we can really do about that one, so that's okay with us. But full research slots is nice as well like making more civvies, but Francistria makes peace with Terran. After a short but brutal conflict, Francistria has finally agreed to cease fire and enter peace negotiations with Tarim. The Taranian demands are simple, recognition of national independence and sovereignty. Francistria has no choice but to accept, and they, as it can no longer militarily win the conflict. Hostilities, hostilities have ended, and Tarim has secured its newly gained independence. Countries around the world are impressed with the valiant struggle of the small nation, while Aquilia is already rushing to establish diplomatic connections with Tarim's government. Peace for our time. Which doesn't sound like it's a good thing for us, but oh well. The Garcia Boat Law passes, my friends. But let's go and go... Oh, we can't do one yet? Oh, it sucks. A great victory for fascism in Wing Bardi has been achieved today, as the Garcia Boat Law has passed Parliament and became law just a few hours ago. With it, the elections have been rescheduled to occur in just a month, are practically guaranteed to give us a majority of deputies we need, following allow us to go forward with our vision for the nation. Many of the party are celebrating this as a turning point, as the balance of power has finally shifted permanently in favor of Bicolini and the PNF, a rousing success. Meet with these guys, we can do that one too, from the OVR. Let's do that one, since, um, actually this one's not too bad, actually. We get some more army XP, and I do like that one. Let's, let's meet with the Red Army. We could do that one, but we don't have any garrisons as far as I know right now. The Stalin Gradians fought to be free of equestrian rule, and they have experience in warfare against them, not the least in the use of tanks. While we would need to be subtle about it to not ruffle too many feathers, there's nothing saying we can't trade notes. Yeah, let's trade notes. We have 280 so Nice. Approved machine tools? Very bueno. Up next. Ooh, what do we want? Uh, Airbase construction speed's okay. Output. Uh, I like output. Let's get some more output. We could probably use more output, right? We can use... Oh, we have no factories on artillery. What do you mean? Do we not have artillery? Oh, I didn't put artillery on here. Well, gosh darn it. I forgot about artillery. There you go. Yeah, at least make one artillery thing for now. Support weapons 1 is nice. 10.09. Ooh, not quite there yet. Hmm. We might need some field hospitals maybe eventually, but let's get some better light tankerinos. And now we're making these divisions, uh, which are 12 combat width, which is, no, not great. <clears throat> But it'll go. Let's get some more infantry on them first then, since we have the arm XP anyways. Anti-air. Do we have how much anti-air do we have? 204, that's not too bad actually. There you go. It gives us slightly more soft attacks, that's fine with us. And we need to train so be the early election. The polls were open once again to all wing bodies today. For the recent passing of the Gasserable Law has mandated a new early election to reshuffle and reorganize the parliament. And just as hope the PNF got a vast majority of votes compared to the rest of the parties, securing the two-thirds majority we needed in deputies. 
The results in some states were seriously questioned due to rumors of voter intimidation, electoral fraud, and other such acts by black wing members, but nevertheless, they've now been generally accepted and the PNF given their rightful seats as mandated by the Gazerbo law. We have now have our safe majority in the Chamber of Deputies, and our great Duce Bicolini finally has the ability to fully carry out his goals for the future of wing body, just as planned. Now he is El Duce. Nice. Let's justify world goal time. Less improved relations, opinion, and more political power gain. Great. If you'd like to read about him, though, please go right ahead. Stanley and Grant accept our joint military experience sharing. Our proposal for military cooperation has borne fruit. As the Communists and Stalingrad have accepted our idea and have already begun cooperation and sharing between our Army and General Staff. While they did make quite a show of their experience in modern military theory compared to ourselves, in the end we did learn a great deal from them as they did from us, a toast to our friendship. Great. We love Stalingrad for now. Control local governments. Nice. And we can do what? Oh, we can tackle raids and stuff. Tackle the Mafia, I suppose we can if we need to. We lose a little bit more political power. But hey, our political power is looking much, much better than it was before. The strong Mafia, education reform, mass public works, nice. I like that recovering economy is not terrible. Black Wings, of course, outdated army, which is still not very good. And the King, very good. Oh, divisions. Oh, someone speaks out against fascism. What's wrong with you? But what's fascism? What's wrong? What's, what's fascism? I don't, I don't understand. What is fascism? What is that? Never heard of it. I know supremacy, but... Fascism? Hmm. Sounds like an F word we shouldn't talk about. Oh, uh, what do we have down here? Not bad, we don't believe in carriers, which is fine with me, but let's go grab that then. <clears throat> Trouble against the PNF has risen in the parliament once again, as Giacomo Gaiotti, leader of the PSU party, has made yet another speech denouncing both Piccolini's leadership and fascism as a whole and wing party. Having lost... <clears throat> excuse me. Having long been the head of the Partito Socialista Unitario, he has ardently stood against the new Prime Minister since his first day in office, constantly pushing for the Griffins of Parliament to unite against him and the PNF. It seems that a large part of our opposition agreed with this rousing moment, and the Griffin is proving to be a real thorn in our side. Piccolini has already expressed his displeasure at the constant attempts to undermine him. Who will rid me of these communists? <clears throat> probably ourselves. We'll probably do it ourselves. Oh, we're out of manpower. Oh no. But accountable only to the King. All that Bicolini has done was for the one purpose and one purpose only, the prosperity and glory of Wingbardi. All of the things are vestigial, or vestigial, vestigial, I, I, I apologize for my mispronunciations, issues that cannot be allowed to stand in his way. That is why he will be beholden to the king only. If courts, politicians, or other meddlers plan to drag him from a position, then they can try to do so by force and tar and ask for diplomatic recognition. The separatists in Tarn, who recently gained their independence from the country of Fantistria, have sent us a diplomatic envoy asking for the newborn nation to be recognized by our government as a sovereign country. Accepting this request would mean that we're not only acknowledging their independence as legal, but also enables us to form friendly ties with the young country, however. Doing so would also likely anger some Francistrians, who may still think that Tarn is the rightful part of their nation. Not only that, but justifying the military occupation of an area is much easier if you do not recognize them as a legal entity. And in the end, does Griffonia truly need yet another tiny statelet that can hardly sustain itself? No, 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 no. Senator Grover Gore, yes. The power of our mafia gains in our nation will be weakened. Good. <clears throat> oh no, Giacomo Gaiotti disappears. Oh no. Oh, Crystal Empire broke free, huh? That is 10.08 still. Oh, we can get up some of that. Shocking news has spread across Wing Body as of late. For Giacomo Gaiotti, ahead of the PSU, has mysteriously disappeared. I wonder what happened. As of late, or no, uh, while his whereabouts are unknown at the moment, witnesses say that they saw the socialist leader being bundled into a car by mass attackers. The search for him continues, but yet many are already fearing that it is too late. It seems that the blame for the attack is being put mostly onto the local Black Wings, which have long had a violent history with such incidents. Both the local police and PSU members have cooperated in locating the missing politician. This isn't what I meant. Probably. Oh, look. Divisions. Nice. Stalingrad. Oh. And our town. Very nice. Anything else here? Eh, not really. Not too much that we really care about. And the Grand Council of Fascism. Daily political power. Fascism only. I'll do this one. The bickering politicians almost brought Wing Body to ruin, but that doesn't mean that the entire system is wholly rotten. If loyal birds who know what truly matters are selected on the council, we can use a flaw parliamentary system in a way that actually benefits the Wing Body. Very good. <clears throat> we get some armor for that, too. Enchanted machines, very nice. Max factories in the state, that's not bad. We can kind of wait for that. I never use fire control systems. Maybe we will eventually. Actually, I did say I want some cast, so let's grab some cast. Nice. Keep training, guys. You're doing a great job, even though we need more artillery, which we're slowly, slowly making some of. 
Oh, what do we have over here? Poor working conditions. I'll get some more daily army XP. I think that'd be good. Cancel an aggression pack. What the heck? Well, grand cancel then. Get more daily uh, political power. Nice. Oh, let's go and grab whoever. Oh, we haven't done our land auction yet. And I usually go with Superior Fire Park just because it's so trying to. Uh, I guess we'll go with uh, Mobile Warfare. Why not? We'll go with Mobile Warfare for this campaign. Wasn't really planning on doing it, but okay, why not? Death Church Thors are nice. It, ooh, something really quick, maybe. Deck conversions. That's 139 days. That's quite a few days, actually. I'll get hurt. That's actually really good to do. I'll do that one. The Terran Exercise. Francistrian Wing Body and Army Officers organize a war game to be held near Tarn for the purpose of providing a practical experience for soldiers and improving cooperation between the two armies. Thousands of soldiers from both nations attended the event, which also featured vehicles such as trucks and tanks. The exercise was based on a hypothetical invasion of the county of Francistria by Quillians over the hills of Tyran. This, of course, was not stated in public, but seemed obvious to outside observers. This angered the local Terranians, who lived nearby, and the Francistrian army faced criticism as a result. But, aside from the controversy, the exercise would go smoothly, and much valuable experience was gained. Learning to work together is quite important. Nice. Awesome. That's really good. Uh, anything else here? Trade with Skyfall? No, no, no. Ah, 355 support. Ah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The Grand Council, and oh, this body was found. The worst fears of many came true today, as the body of Giacomo <clears throat> Gaiotti was finally found. Hidden deep in the Warthog jungle, a later autopsy by medical experts found that he had been stabbed no less than seven times by his assailants. Many in the PSU and, are, and beyond are in mourning, as Giacomo was a generally well liked figure among the liberals and socialists for his moderate policies. While well, the party itself has fractured some and brought more into the PNF, the vast majority are already directing their anger at the government for letting this happen, as well as fanning the suspicion of black wing involvement. I swear I had nothing to do with this. Terran nationalizes Transistria, Transista oil fields. Oh boy. Wing Bardi and oil companies have issued a complaint to the government that the National Republic of Tarn has decided to nationalize their oil fields and Transistia, meaning the companies lost most of their properties and investments without compensation. Leonitina Padoniana has publicly stated that she wishes or she wished to secure control of the vital resource and ensure most of the profits would remain inside the nation instead of being funneled or abroad. Or funneled abroad. We decided to issue a formal protest to the Tyrrhenian government, albeit there's no support for further action. We have, however, promised to compensate the oil companies for their losses so they can continue to function normally. How rude. <clears throat> How dare they. They must be taught a lesson, eventually. They will be. Oh, light tanks? Thank you. There you go. Improve the tanks that we currently have. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Actually, what are the tanks like that we have? <clears throat> not terrible. We'll put it like that. But just not great. Mm, don't want to spend too much army XP right now. Five... Uh, just go with four and six for now. That's fine. That's 20 combo, but that's not too bad. And you can have some armor regun, because you can. There you go. We don't have that many tanks anyway, so whatever. Cool. They join the Entente. Well, they're going to have to die then. Fascists arrested over Gaiotti's murder. The griffins behind the murder of Giacomo Gaiotti has finally been caught as the police have apprehended five individuals who are in relation to the crime. The evidence against him at this point is overwhelming and many legal experts are already guaranteeing it to be an open and shut case. And a turn of worse for the PNF and Piccolini though. One of the alleged murders is known and prominent Black Wing officer. Rumors are already spreading of Piccolini's possible involvement of the murder due to Gaiotti's known opposition to his government. Two options have been put forward by our officials. The first is to save face and let the trial go ahead. While it would be undoubtedly hurt the reputation and popularity of the PNF as a whole, Piccolini's innocence and the case would be proved and the government itself could get off scotch-free. The other option is to use their connections to get them off the hook. Our party wouldn't take the hit that an actual conviction would bring, but it would be only increased suspicions of Piccolini's involvement and road trust in the government. Josh would go ahead? You know what, that's fine. He's innocent. Fascism only. The, the Camaria di Deputati is nothing but a waste of time allowing opposition parties to act, agitate against the rightful government of the strong. Fascism is the only politics suitable for wing body. Our great nation will be will be led to a glorious future, a future in which there is no need for opposition. The Iron Commissar, Commissioner. The car turned the street corner and skidded to a halt. The driver swore and Giovanni looked through through the gap between the seats. Two cars had been parked across the road and a group of black wings stood behind them with clubs at the ready. Back up, back up, Giovanni said hurriedly. His talon went to his revolver under his coat as he turned to look out the back window. The driver pulled the car in reverse, only to break suddenly as a truck came around the corner after them and boxed them in. What do we do, boss? The monster said next to Giovanni. Giovanni didn't answer. He looked out the side window and his blood froze. Grover Gore, the Iron Commissioner, stood there with a pleased smirk. Giovanni growled and slowly opened the door and put on a smile as he stepped into the street. I see you've got a new uniform, Grover. And you're still wearing this, those cheap suits, Giovanni, Grover said. I haven't done anything you can pin on me. Let me and my griffs go. 
Those are the old rules, Grover said with a smile. There's a new boss now. He nodded to two black wings next to him, and a tarp fell from a market cart. A machine gun had been set up on it, manned by two black wings, and seated right at the car. Four hours later, Giovanni's body was dumped at the gates of the Gorleone mansion. Don Corleone insisted on singing himself. Look at what they've done to my son. Nice. Subdue Mafia, good. The country, oh, county of Francisco offers to buy gold and feather mines. Representatives of the Francisian government has approached us on behalf of Francis IX's Martel Wing, inquiring us if we'd be willing to consider the sale of gold and feather mines which are located in their lands. Wingbardian prospectors have, brought, have bought the lands around 60 years ago and he found hu huge veins of valuable ores which were then excavated by our national mining companies. Now it seems the county of Francisco wishes to own the mines themselves, so all of their produce and profits don't, don't go directly to us, of course. In return, they're offering a fair sum of idols. There are three possible responses for us to consider. Either we simply accept the deal and allow the strategically important mines to come under Franciscan ownership, or we can try to haggle for a better price, as surely the mines are more important for us than they think. However, this could end up with Franciscans giving up on the deal entirely, which may be a good or bad thing for us. Lastly, we can simply refuse the offer outright, though this would damage our friendly relations somewhat. How do we respond? Let's sign the deal. Um, oh, actually, do we have the mines here for National Spirit? What did Army know? I don't think we did. No, it doesn't really matter to me. Is it out of the question? Uh, let's just sign the deal. Let's just sign the deal. It's fine. There goes those guys. And glowing to a body. I definitely want to get that one done before we leave for today or end the episode. All right. Sending Grovagori again. Sure. And then glory to Wing Body. Wing Body has long been the jewel of the South. Since we first spread our wings at the Carthaginian Empire, our great nation has been the envy of all Griffins, a beacon to look up to. We must regain these past glories. We shall rebuild our empire and seize what has always been rightfully ours, which get more division recovery rate. Uh, focus on offense, acceptance, harmonious, and communist ideology, but more, uh, you know, supremacist ideology. Ah, 1009. Nice. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, happy New Year. Cool. Basic live batteries will be good to do as well, but I'll probably get some radar as well. I like that one. Oh, we need to... More of that? That's fine. There you go. Doesn't really matter too much. Just keep making the ships. That's fine. Oh, what do we have down here? Uh, we could probably get more stability, actually. That would probably wouldn't be too bad. Foreign policy, political actions. There you go. Let's grab some of that first. Fascism only. Oh, we'll do that one. OVRA is not too bad. Fix the resource deficit. That's not bad to do either. Oh, you do get some more... Oh, we get wing body and aut autarky, which is nice. And productivism, that's actually not too bad either. Build a military economy, economic recovery. Ooh, I kind of want to do that one too, though. But glory wing body first. And then we'll do economic recovery. It's been a long time coming, but we finally revitalized our ailing economy and industry. Not only have we brought back the spark of life to wing body, but we've also improved our fiscal and industrial capacity to the point that no one can honestly call our country economically or industrially backwards. Wing body is once again the pride of the continent. Nice. What else do we have here? Ooh, electronics is nice. Engine, motors, nice. Oh, and then we can go to war with people. I like that. So we can do this one, maybe? Oh, they have to exist. And it's fully independent, the second equivalent republic. Okay, so we can't go that one. So we'll probably go down to claim Gr Griffinstone, then. Kingdom of Griffinstone. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we better fighters, too. Yeah, definitely do that one. Uh, planes. I love close air support. There we go, just in case. And get two for there. Uh, we'll probably need two for that, too. Nice. Enter war artillery. Oh, look at that. Total support. Who knew? Who knew that the people loved us so much that they throw literally all their support behind our government? I, for one, knew that they would do that no matter what. Oh, we got so much PP. So much PP. Alright. Um, do we really need more daily supremacy support? Oh, actually, plus... Oh, that's actually quite a bit. Wow. That's pretty nice, actually. If that's the case... We can't go to war kind of, which kind of sucks. Oh, Prince of Terror, which one do we want? Daily supremacy support is okay. Plus 5% political power is okay as well. I think we just go with Captain of Industry. Just keep building, 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 building for now. But then, economic recovery. Nice. And, uh, National Recreation Club? That's not bad. Pressure fell core. Bring Artiga back to heal? Or the... Uh, uh, this is Parishes of Sycamion, Valkorian Queendom. Radar is very nice to have. 1009. Extraction? Let's give some synthetic oil experiments. Uh, where is it? Francistria. Terran. Arantiga. Oh, there's supremacists as well. Joint army exercises are gone for now. That's fine, whatever. Just gotta keep an eye on the Mafia. Actually, how do we do some more of the Mafia stuff? Tackle the Mafia? No. Uh, weak Mafia, supremacy, local governments. CPA. Oh, oh, we have to be communists to do that. Okay. Strength and Harmony and the Mafia. 
Oh, we can't end the Mafia then. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. I guess we try this one and bring our Antigua back to heal. The Antiguans have a long imperial history, but are nothing but an uh, upstart backwater now. <clears throat> Carthenia is a true heir of the kingdom of Sparlios, and Antigua will not stand against us in the modern age. If our Antiguans will not conform to our wishes, we will bring them back to heal. Nice. A long day inventor, very good. So let's go and do this then. We will bring them back to heal. Uh, let's go up there then. Nice. There we go. Something like that. Alright. And, well, this is, that stuff is okay. It doesn't really help you that much, though. Uh, volunteer only, we've definitely got to go at least limited conscription for now. That'll be good. And we get 1.78 political power every single day. Nice. Yes. I love war. Military factories would be actually pretty nice, too. Uh, we could probably grab that one, too, next. I kind of like... Okay, I don't want to do that. Toulouse? Oh, they probably not rebelled. So, let's build... Oh, they went to war with them. Uh, a military economy. With a threat of war looming. Wing body must be prepared in case fighting does break out. An able body wing body is only half a soldier without his rifle, so let's make sure that the state is able to provide him ten rifles. Nice. I like that idea. More rifles, and the Queen of the Republic is going crazy right now. Oh, the Entente. We'll have to kill them later. So we'll probably close out of this one. We probably don't need to see that one for now. Improve working conditions. We can institute press censorship, but we don't really need to do that right now. Good. All oh, preparation for the war effort. Competing machine. Nice. And they'll probably go and grab encryption, cryptology level. Nice. Man, this mod runs so fast. I love it. Now, they don't have a navy, which is fine with us. We're still training our ships. We still have plenty of fuel. I love it. There you go. Can you duplicate that? Uh, go and train. You guys could get some more experience first. The tripartite union. Nice. And we'll go ahead and grab build a military economy. Okay, no, no more training now. You had your time. Barely any time, but that's okay. And let's see what we can do. Can we just like march right on in? We actually might be able to. Uh, we have enough guns, 2400 guns, 125 artillery. These guys, yeah, I'll probably get rid of those guys. You guys are 14 combo with, which is not great, but we should still do relatively okay here, right? Especially the tank. Oh, yeah, these guys are just going to kill each other off. If you move into the capital, that'd be very good. And uh, we did. Nice. And those guys have died. We've lost a thousand. Wait, we would have lost a thousand. Wow. 2,000 versus eh, kind of 4,000 ish. That's not great, but. Uh. Not as good as I would have hoped. Oh well. Mm, naval doctrine might not be bad to do. Uh, grab some of that too. Basically, our batteries are pretty good. Hey! Thank you! I think we should really puppet them. Let's take them out and maybe we get an option to puppet them, maybe? We'll see what happens. Oh! Catch her. Oh, these guys are. Hmm. Blossoming. Getting up big, bigger. Fighters. Oh yeah, fighters. Ah, where are you at? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. Uh, let's come over here to Occupy Territories. There's nothing we can probably really do about this, right? Nope. And who are you doing for this stuff? Three, yeah. Go steer up. Let's just eat. keep on that one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's very good, actually. Um, I guess we're just going to keep them, then. Foreign policy? There's nothing over there with them, so... And Fluina is pretty much dead, so... Okay. Maton. Very nice. Any more upgrades? Not yet. And War Industrial. So you get more... Hmm. hmm. Ooh, actually, Prince of Terror. We already have that, so we might... Uh, I usually don't choose this one. Why not? Let's help uh, lower our damage to garrisons by 25%, which is nice. After building a military economy, pressure Falcor. Falcor has hated us ever since their defeat 20 years ago, resulted in the rightful conquest of their namesake city. <clears throat> they have continually pushed to regain their ancient capital, so as long as the Falcorian nation exists, it'll be a threat to Wing Bardi, so... We will not allow a Falkorian nation to exist. Good. Good. They should not exist. Falkor. Oh, there's Griffin Stone. The Falkorian Queendom. Scout for Republic during the Griffonian Republic. All right. This one is going to be probably a little bit more difficult. Let's see what happens. And after that one, ooh, claim Griffin Stone. We could probably do that one next. With the South secured, the ancient cradle of all Griffins lies before us. Griffin Stone has long been, since languished in its torpor, and its former glory is but a favorite memory. Under the Wingbardian rule, we shall restore its prestige and add to ours. Good. Both of you go right here. Nice, nice, nice. And these guys are only 14 combo with. We're going to need way more artillery where we're headed, so. And planes as well. Just We're going to need a lot of things. And a lot more tanks, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, since we're here, light... Basic batteries, nice. Um, it is 10,000. It's all, we're almost there. Just go and do that. That's fine. Do you have another? Oh, nice. Another two divisions. Awesome. 
Did you have an upgrade? Uh, not really too much, no. That's fine. Support opens. Good. Eh, it's not that hard of time. Just go and do that one. That's fine. We have so many extra guns. We do need quite a bit more artillery, though, which is kind of sucky, but that's okay. Artillery? Do we have enough for that? No, we do not. So that really sucks. Uh, cut these down to one, then. Let's do that one first, so we have less of a deficit, hopefully. And grab some encryption. Nice. Let's see what they'll do. Let's see what they'll do. Nice. 49%. Almost half. Almost halfway. Great. Maneuver. Recovery rate. Defense. Probably do defense. What do you have over here? Army regrouping. Motorized and mechanized attack. Division. Infantry division stuff. That would be good to do as well. Um, we'll probably do infantry specialists. We're going to go to war soon. But we actually might be able to get to war economy then. Yeah, we'll get to war economy once we go to war. So, If we do go to war. So, they accept. Our diplomats... Diplomatic Corps and Falcor succeeded in its task, and whilst there is much grumbling from the Falcorians, our ambassador returned with an agreement for Falcor to accept Wingbardian annexation. Great! Let's go next. And we don't have court. Yeah, we don't have cores on these guys, which sucks, but whatever. Alright, we didn't go to war, which kind of did suck, but that's okay. Um, Social reformer, daily. Oh, we can't get more supremacists, but we're already improving our supremacist support anyway, so. Yeah. Anything else? Your military factories and dockers are not bad. Air bases, naval station. Eh, that stuff is okay as well. I don't mind if it's like infrastructure because I built a lot of infrastructure. So, political power eventually. You know what? It's not worth doing this one, is it? Yeah, point one more. That's gonna take a long time for us to actually get up there, up there though. I was talking to these guys. Synthetic oil experiments. Mm, it is ten ten. So let's grab some more construction speed. So you guys are doing, did a very good job. Fighting in the mountains is a really bad idea with tanks. Just incre incredibly bad. What if you guys came over here like this? How strong are these guys? Because our guys are not extremely strong, but... Oh, they don't have that much manpower like us. Nice. Oh, oh, one in 90 divisions. Yeah, we can take them out, probably. We can probably take them out. And that'll be a great thing. So if you guys need to train, please go right ahead. Oh, payment for the mines of gun. No! Actually, we're doing very... We're doing extremely well. We're, we're building dockyards, too. New, Nova Grafoni democracies prevail. Nice. Good for them. Anything else here? Nope. Trail the Skyfall. We're okay for now. Once we do go to war, we'll go with that one. So after that, Dumanu Maryland, a Sikimian question. Yeah, I might want to do that too. Sikimian has made it clear that they are not our friends. They have denounced our anti-democratic and aggressive policies. We should teach them a lesson of humility and remind the pathetic Federation who is the true ruler of the South. Nice. Now we can use more. Oh, we actually filled up those tanks. Nice. Get some more because we're gonna need a lot more, a ton more. Of this. We got plenty of guns too, which is actually really nice. Bolt action rifles? Oh, this is fun to shoot. 10 10. Let's grab some of that then. Let's stop training. 3, 2. What comes after 2? Sometimes 3, sometimes 1. Let's go ahead. And these guys were surrounded. Nice. Um, You guys are doing great. Uh, come to there. You might need to take all these areas just because uh, you never know what the VPs are like here. Copper Hill? Nice. Well, Griffith. Not bad. Not bad. That was really nice. I'll be honest. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's going to take a while to kill these guys off. People, these people off. Then that's fine. Go keep training then. Oh, you guys have to go there. That's fine. All right then. Do we get a core stuff? Ooh, dig for crystals under Griffinstone. Oh, I kind of like that. Hope we get some cores eventually. Deal with the bandits. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, restore Carthenia. I like that one. Reform the Carthenian Empire. <clears throat> oh, Conquest of Rice by Philip Redglad. Um, I've already read this before, so this is about just a book that the guy wrote, and the communists really like it. Sense of the book? It doesn't matter. Sense of the book. The Carthenian Empire once stretched from Aquila to Broadfeld. Carthin was the strongest successor state to the kingdom of Sparlios, and every winged body and dreams to relive those glory days. Now that our borders once again encompass most of the ancient lands, winged body can rightfully lay claim to the, le the legacy of our ancestors. We can proudly reclaim the glory of the Carthinian Empire, which would be great. I don't know why anyone would ever oppose that. Mm, material designers, House of Eerie's gone. Uh, Bigada? Huh. It's supposed to be Beretta. I love Beretta so much. At least their handguns. Oh, so nice. All right, disperse industry as well. Great. Get some of that, and we'll go and grab. Uh, reclaiming this one. Nice influence. War the Styrian. Oh, we get a war goal against them. How strong are these guys? 
A lot of manpower. They are harmony. Uh, this might be actually a little bit more difficult than I imagined. But since we are here, let's stop training, guys. Stop training. Go home. And I'll go with you. Three. No, not yet. Oh, my super consumer expert. I'd rather hurt the enemy's penalty size just because uh, our our visibility is really just got awful. There you go, you can do that too if you want to. Um, and you have what? Alberto? Degada? Now for this one, I don't mind maybe doing... Eh, I'll do that one, why not? It doesn't really matter to me too much. Alright. And 10-11 is a little bit ahead of time. Ooh, it is 10-10. Let's grab some better artillery. And better guns. When you go to war, bye. Very soon. Okay. Looks like their ships are mostly already over here, which is nice. How many ships do we have repairing? Just one. That's not bad, actually. It's just, it's just a simple destroyer, so we don't really have to wait for that. So let's go in. Oh, do we need colonel? We don't need colonel allies. I think we'll be okay. Oh, they're actually allied with this. Who is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, crud. We actually just went in on the attack. The Free Rumer Army. There are many ethnic Rumerians living in their residence and Stone Highlands. They usually don't cause any trouble, but this has changed recently with the formation of the Ryu Free Rumer Army, an organization which claims to be fighting for an independent Rumerian nation. The formation of the FRA has coincided with the bombing of several government facilities in the residence and Stone Highlands that has caused significant damage. More worryingly is the discovery of several weapons caches and a raid by the army in the FRA hideout. It seems the FRA is also preparing for a full-scale uprising. Well, that's not good since we just went to war. While well, we've been able to track down the source of funding for the FRA, many are suspecting the Barony of Rumer to be the ones smuggling weapons and funds to the FRA. However, without any solid evidence, we cannot do anything. The only thing we can do is wait for them to strike first. Oh, crud. Uh, guys, I'd recommend you guys just move, please. And you guys have done a great job. Go over there, and then we'll use our tanks as well. Guys, I would really highly recommend you guys move as well. Highly recommend it. We need more pony power. Uh, war support? Yeah, well, let's grab some more support. Rising Mafia influence is fine. Oh, and you guys did a great job. Oh, we have an able battle going on down here. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Our ships are doing quite well against them. Holy crap, look at that. Seven destroyers, two light cruisers, and four more destroyers. Nice. 10-10. Uh, that's a little bit way too ahead of time for us. Grab extraction, maybe? I'm kind of okay with that. Let's grab some anti-air. Oh, sunk a convoy. Nice. There we go. That's oh, we lost it. We did lose a destroyer, but that's all right. Construction three is nice. Sunk a destroyer. I like this. Bicolini's wing body is pretty fun, and we'll go with mobile warfare. I did say so. Oh, we lost something here. A sub. That sucks. Oh boy. Alright, not bad. We do need to get more manpower, though. Pony power. Um, you guys could probably go in there and beat him up, probably. We've lost 10,000, which is not good. Actually, we lost quite a few guys. Oh, that's not good. Where are the tanks at? Supplies are pretty bad here, huh? It's got Navy of Burns. I just go there, guys. You might just be able to encircle them, maybe. Or just get them all off. Uh, take that. Just keep moving around here quickly then. Keep all these guys in place. Okay, you guys are really sucking it up right now. You guys are really sucking it up. Oh, do not get in circle, man. And then secure Tarin. Influence these guys. Demand New Maryland. Let's go ahead and do this one, though. Found the OVRA. Subversive so socialists and even liberal politicians have been organizing resistance against a rule. Calling or takeover undemocratic. We will found the Organización per la Vigilancia e la Repression del Antifascismo. The Organization of Vigilance and Repression of Antifascism, consisting of senior black wings and police officers to tear down these rotten elements of our society. Good. Alright, so we got a really kind of rethink this so everyone hold you move in you move in as well actually you know you hold him in place oh what the heck all right well let's move in there then there you go keep him in place nice well at least our navy is doing quite well i like that just please do not get encircled yourselves all right they moved in So 
send in the armor, and raise up a conscription level. Even though I want to go to, you know, war, war economy, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, not bad. Our Navy's doing quite well. Much better than I thought they would. Yeah, go and hold for now. Don't worry about it. I guess one there. Nice job, guys. Keep holding on. We've lost a lot more than I thought we would. That's my bad. 20,000 versus 50,000. Eh, it could be worse. Oh, boy. Cannons, nice. Better cannons are nice. Uh, I'll put max factories in the states. That's okay. 10-10. Uh, medium tanks. I guess we can go with mediums. Why not? You guys should do better than this. Like, come on, man. Oh, right, you know what? Just hold in. Just hold. Because now, we're going to send everyone but you down here. There you go. That's better. Well, we just cut them off. And if they want to get supplies from there, well, then they'll just die. Ooh, what's so, why is it so bad down here? What's going... Oh, there's no... Oh, my gosh. That is so bad. So bad. Why is there no infrastructure down here? Oh, my goodness. Why? Well, they'll suffer then. For now. In the meantime, uh, get another civvy. Wingbardian Motor Industry. In the past, the name of Talencia brought to mind top of the line cars and trucks, and Wingbardia was once more the home of Griffin made motorized vehicles. We've fallen a long way since Grace since, but we can still reclaim the proud title once more. Keep blowing up their ships. Oh, they're attacking us now. That's not good. How many more ships do they have? I mean, that's just the only combo they're kind of sinking now, but still. Supplies are slightly better. Good. We've killed off 86,000. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, engineering, 1011. No. Oh, screw it. Just grab some of that. Really make our ships really, really good. They love attacking. They really do love attacking. And they're attacking up there, too. Why are they not suffering from attrition? Seriously. That doesn't make any sense. Any sense at all. And we'll be probably bogged down here for a while, which really sucks, but whatever. Another division. That's fine. We don't even make a division because we have only so much manpower for now. That's fine. And how much artillery do we, do we have? 196. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Uh, go and hold, hold for now. Alright. And infantry expert. Because we need more attack here. They have 18,000 manpower, and they're on extensive conscription. And supply-wise, I don't think they have that much, but let's come here. Let's create an intelligence agency. Sim? Is that a good name? Please let me know if you think we, we can come up with a better intelligence agency name in the comments below for the next episode. Please let me know. Actually, how are we doing with planes? Oh, we're doing okay. we got a few bombers. We've got some close air support, which is very good. We're going to import some more fuel, which is fine. And just go ahead and just do that area. That's fine. And let's go see if we can import some stuff. We can use slightly more fuel, and we'll grab it from the Bakaran Republic. Yes. We've killed off almost 100,000 of them, so, I mean, I think we're doing pretty darn well. And, you know what? Let them keep attacking us. We struggled early on. My bad. But I've never played this nation before, so. How are they winning? Man, we need more artillery. I swear. I swear we need more artillery. Go get more Griffonian, Griffin architecture. That's better. Let's grab some more organization, too. Uh, yeah, you might as well do that. Nice. We can body motor industry, and I guess we might just end with what? Let's end this episode with something regarding the Carthinian Protocols. I could probably do it. New diplomatic decisions. That's not bad. Southern military planning. That's not bad. Uh, I'll do the... Ionatica, Ejercito. Let's do that one. Wing Body once had a mighty army that could once rival that of the Griffonian Empire of old. We've fallen far from the grace since then, but are, with a government once more united, we can begin to give our army the attention that it desperately needs. But we'll end it here for today, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we will defeat this Sycamion and as well as the Republic of Asterion. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.